Yeah, hi there. Welcome to the first of the series of videos that will walk you through the Office Move example that we did in the computer labs. So the first thing you need to do is open up Microsoft Project. You, you can do that by clicking on your Start menu and typing Project. That will give you a list of documents, programs, etc. You're interested in programs, which are usually up on top there, and Microsoft Project is most often the first one of those. So you open up Microsoft Project 2013. You'll be greeted by a screen like this. We're interested in a blank project, so it's the white one there, uh, top left of the options that you're given. So you open up a blank project file, and the first thing you should do is save your file to the desktop or to somewhere else where you can source it. So you go to your file menu and you choose save as. You decide on the location you want to put it. Uh, I'll put it on the desktop for now, so I'll choose desktop. And I'm going to call it Roly Ann Office Move. And I save the file. So that's the file saved to the desktop. And the second, assign the second task you've been given is to change the tasks to be effort driven and auto scheduled. So down the bottom of your screen here, you notice on the green, or it may not always be green on your screen, but on the bottom bar, you'll see bits of information. One of the things it tells you is that new tasks are manually scheduled. If you click on that, you get a pop-up menu that allows you to go to auto scheduled. That says to you that task dates are now going to be calculated by Microsoft Project. That's absolutely what you want. You want Microsoft Project to calculate your project end date as you go along. So you want to change that. Uh, so that's your auto schedule mode. The second thing you were asked to do was change the tasks to be effort driven. To do that, you need to go to your file menu and on the file menu, go down to the bottom option there, which is options. In options, you have a number of different types of options, but we're going to go to the schedule options, which is the third one down here on the left hand side. You've got a lot of schedule options, but on the first screen towards the, the bottom of the first screen without scrolling down, you'll see a tick box here that says new tasks are effort driven. You need to tick that box. That's an important setting before you start putting in your tasks and linking your assignments. Just to show you, by the way, just above that there, you have your new tasks created and here is your auto schedule. So you could actually change from manual scheduling to auto scheduling using that drop down box rather than where we did it earlier. But it, it doesn't matter once the, the settings are made. So auto scheduled here and new tasks are effort driven and you can say OK to that. And that's your second task done. So the third thing you're asked to do is to enter some file properties so that you can identify the file as your own. So in order to enter your file properties, you go to your file menu again. The first uh, screen that comes up is the info functionality. If you go over to the right hand side there, you'll see project information and underneath project information, there's advanced properties. And that's where you're going to put in your file information. So the project title is Office Move. The author is already there for you. The project manager is uh, your name again. And the company name is ABC Accountants. So that's your file properties entered. So you can say OK to that. And you can use your back arrow to go back to your, to your blank project file. So the last of the four items on, that I'll cover in this video is item number four, where you're asked to add a WBS column to your sheet. So the most common place to put your WBS column is to the left of your task name column. So you highlight your task name column by putting your mouse just over, over the column title, and you'll then get the column highlighted. And if you right click, uh, about halfway down the pop-up menu that appears, there would be insert column. So you choose insert column and this inserts a column to the left of where you are. It'll always insert to the left of the column that you've highlighted and leaving the blue highlighting there so that what you type types over the, the blue, we're going to type WBS. So it immediately deletes what's highlighted in blue and puts in WBS, which I've typed. And you see here the three WBS columns that I could add. We're interested in just the very straightforward WBS column. So we click on it and there it is now to the left of our task name column. We can resize it by moving our mouse up here so that we have that little mouse there with an arrow either side, and, uh, side of it. And if you double click, uh, that will resize your WBS column uh, so that it's tidy beside your task name column. So that's it. We have uh, opened a file, saved a file, set our tasks to effort driven, auto scheduled. We've put in our file properties and finally we've added a WBS column to our sheet.